I guess to kind of start off with, um, last time we, were, we saw the, the, the terrible nature of what was going on in the cove, and this seems to be so much of a bigger project with Racing Extinction, what, what are you looking to, to showcase with this type of movie and showcasing a lot more horrors that are going on in, in the environmental world? And my buddy was like, boy, um, yeah, well, there's plenty of horrors going right here on our own turf, you know, probably worse and, and actually preventable, and that's kind of the, the, the point of it. <laughs> This film, Racing Extinction. There's been five major extinctions in the history of the planet. We're going through a sixth one right now, but it's caused by us, about humanity, about the way that we, how we, how we get our food, how we get our transportation. Uh, very few people know that the, the raising of meat for human consumption causes more greenhouse gases than the entire transportation sector. Uh, so with this car that Lalani was driving in the film, we, we, we take a, a Tesla and modify it so that you can... Why don't you talk about the car? So just, she, she's the getaway driver. Pretty, pretty cool. Cool Tesla Model S I get to drive in the film. Um, it started out as a normal uh, P85 Plus Tesla Model S. Um, we kind of ripped the interior out of the car and there's a 15,000 lumen projection system that comes out of the back of the car. So I'm able to project from you know a thousand feet away images that you know like are a hundred feet high and very clear. So it sort of made you know the whole world our canvas. Um, and then out of the front of the Tesla is a high definition FLIR camera that has a very special color filter on it that helps make carbon dioxide and methane visible to the human eye. Um, so humans obviously being very visual creatures, I think it's a challenge for people to sort of understand and connect with how much greenhouse gas emissions we're putting in the atmosphere because you can't see them. Um, and since we're visual creatures, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Um, so this camera kind of combats that. Um, it also has a disappearing license plate, and uh, which is fun, <laughs> especially for somebody like me who speeds. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, it's also the first car in the world with um, electroluminescent paint. Uh, so it is, I'm able to like sort of hit a button and at night the paint can actually carry its own electrical charge. So the paint will start to glow. So I can actually, you know, change the color of the car with just the flip of a switch. So it's a very, very cool car and, you know, you can see it at the end of Racing Extinction. We do some pretty cool stuff with it. So what does it mean to have people like Elon Musk and Jane Goodall, these big time people behind? Your so work, but not what's going on and what you guys are trying to and so, um, well, We need visionaries, you know, people that are uh, inspirational and aspirational. Both of them have, uh, you know, they're very motivational when you see them on the screen. It's, you know, the, the words ring true. You know, you see somebody like Elon, you know, who I think uh, every young priest, the, the Steve Jobs of our era, and you hear him talking about like why he creates these companies, why he's so mission driven. You can understand the meaning of why he's doing what he's doing. And Jane Goodall, she's just uh, a damn fine environment. <laughs>